if there's one thing that I could take from the past, from when I was quote unquote spiritual, if there's one thing I can apply to the faith that I have now in Christ and God, it's this. I was able to be still in moments and not be worried about things, not be worried how things are gonna work out. Granted, back then, I didn't know what the higher power was. Now I obviously know it's Christ, it's Jesus, it's God. So I felt like believing now I was supposed to separate that. But what I'm finding out now is I feel him calling me to have that same type of faith in him and the things that he's going to do for me. And this isn't just for me. I feel like this is for you. This is for us as well. Like have that immovable faith that no matter how it seems right now, whatever situation, whatever, anything that you're going through right now or anything that you want to get to, just have that faith in him. That no matter what it's looking like right now, you know he's working up his perfect plan and he's going to bring it about in his timing. And like I said before, it might not always be the thing that we're looking for, but if we truly trust him, if we truly have faith in him and what he does, then we shouldn't be worried in the moments leading up to the things that we've been praying for, praying about. We just got to have that blind faith, that immovable faith that no matter what it looks like, it, it may not look like anything's moving. To trust him, to believe that he's working for us. He's, he's getting prepared to give us these things to receive. Receive from him. So... What I'm finding is just have that patience even when nothing looks like it's happening and also have that faith that you're going to see things come about. And it's weird for me because this goes in line with when I used to talk about manifestation, but I noticed that a lot of that faith that I had in the unseen, I feel like God's calling me to also have that similar faith, but put it in him. So the things that I can't see, understand that he's on it. And like I said, I know that his plans are greater than mine, so they may not always be exactly what I think they'll be, but we know that he gives good gifts. So take this how you want. Hopefully, this message speaks to you. Hopefully, you get something out of it. I pray that you do in Jesus' name. And if you've been liking these videos that I've been posting, please, I would appreciate it if you click subscribe and also click that like button below. Um, that would let me know that, you know, these videos are actually reaching people. They're actually helping people and people want to hear these things. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. God bless.